my name is Julie and I am here to do a felt story with you today. This one is Goldilocks and the Three Bears, um, which I bet a lot of you are familiar with. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorites to do, especially this version that I can just do on the felt board for you. Um, and this version really showcases the different, different sizes, basically. Um, so it's a good one to introduce the words huge, small, and tiny. <laughs> And if you don't have a felt board at home, this one you can definitely just do just by telling the story and then just by showing the different sizes of huge, small, and tiny. <laughs> so let's get started. Here we go. When Goldilocks went to the house of the bears, oh, what did her blue eyes see? A bowl that was huge, a bowl that was small, and a bowl that was tiny. When Goldilocks went to the house of the bears, or what did her blue eyes see? A chair that was huge. A chair that was small. Oop, does it want to stay? And a chair that was tiny. When Goldilocks went to the house of the bears, oh, what did her blue eye see? A bed that was huge. A bed that was small, and a bed that was tiny. When Goldilocks ran from the house of the bears, oh, what did her blue eyes see? A bear that was huge. A bear that was small, and a bear that was tiny. And there we go, the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Hope you enjoyed that one. Bye everyone. <laughs>